expect robotics and mother nature to be at opposite ends of the spectrum in the world of technology, but no. With billions of years of evolution to build on, scientists are increasingly turning to the animal kingdom to develop new generations of robots. We've already shown you robotic dogs that play soccer, robotic fish that look and behave like the real thing, and this snake robot, which will one day be used for rescue. And we're not finished yet. I'm here at Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, a little town in New York State. Some big names have come out of this place, Meryl Streep, Lisa Kudrow, and now, Madeline. She may not be a Hollywood celebrity, but round here, she's fast becoming a local legend. Of the two and a half thousand students here, Madeline is one resident who doesn't need to turn up to lectures. Want to meet her? Here she is. A robotic tetrapod, an animal with four limbs. And the best way to get acquainted with her talents is to get wet. Well, Madeline's already in the water and she looks pretty smooth, but I'm gonna get a much better view from in there, so. It's time to brave the cold. Madeline is modelled on sea turtles and sea lions, animals that use four flippers to get around. robot can certainly move. Using either two or four flippers, she can swim, turn, roll, do all sorts of intricate manoeuvres. Pretty impressive. The scientists here have built Madeline so they can study flipper movement and replicate that ancient biological movement in robots or underwater vehicles. Flippers allow much more flexibility and agility than traditional propeller motion. And Madeline is proving to be quite a performer. She can be remote controlled via this cable or she can function entirely independently. Designed by a team led by Dr. John Long from the Robotics Research Lab, Madeline has all the kit on board to be fully autonomous. She can really do a whole range of moves, twist, dive, turn. And it's so bizarre to think she has a mind of her own that she's sensing things and responding to them, including me. <laughs> In fact, right now her sonar sensor has detected I'm here and she's off the other way. Well, you know, she's in this amazing exploratory mode and actually, I'm sorry to cause you the trouble, but we are very excited to see this behavior. I mean, she had to find her way underneath this bridge here. Twice. Twice <laughs> in order to get out here. So this is just great for us to see that she's got such intelligence that she can find her way through small cracks. So. She knows where she wants to be and she's going there. <laughs> she does. No, nothing's getting in the way. <laughs> so what's going on beneath the surface? Right here, she's got a 360 degree sonar, which allows her to look around in all directions. She's got an altimeter, so she can ping down and know where the bottom is. She's got a depth sensor, so she can know how much water she's got overhead. She's got the ability to know how much power she's using. And that's really key for us. Um, because she can do any particular maneuver and know immediately how much juice she's lost. Madeline is already helping John's team work out when it's more efficient to swim with two flippers or four. And her antics will also help engineers build better autonomous underwater vehicles. Who would have thought that animals like turtles and sea lions could help us in designing future underwater vessels? Now, I'm not talking huge subs, but smaller vehicles used in things like exploration, underwater retrieval, even a military operation. Imagine if they could roll, dive, twist, turn, and even run away, like she keeps on doing. 